you get a little bit of experience, level one, or get that level six, you can just instantly all in, but it's gonna be the answer. That will be the Lissandra. You just can't see Spenu picking up two match wins, but they definitely could win the rubber match against Compton. It's possible. It is possible. So it's time. Going into game number three. They got the burn from the red buff and some good damage. Yeah. Whoa. Flash use from Hippo. Ixu just uh, throwing that one out there, getting the summoner. As a little bit of a gank attempt comes in onto Hippo in the top lane. This game really There's hits. like one person clapping for that dragon. Well, not too many fans left at this late <laughs> hour for two of the I, less popular teams. I guess. A dive, a dive. And meanwhile, the TP comes in. The ult on Delira, and Kongdu may have this one. Here Going for the Mickey. kill. One more auto. They get it first. Blood goes over to Edge, but Mickey does show up. Looking for the double, gets one, and uh -oh. he gets two. Double kill for that oh. set, and he gets out of turret aggro. How in the world did he make it? Well, last game he died to the turret. This wow. time just gets away. Is he? You know, there's a lot of red people. On the I think map. Hippo's in trouble, actually, right now. Shield comes in from the W. There's a flay. Meanwhile, Mickey is in trouble in the 1v3. Can't get the damage that he needs to, but the teams do trade one for one. Mid laner for top. Not bad. Sounds pretty good. Monster gives the Rift Herald buff over to Sol. The Cocoon does not connect with Crush. Africa looks like they want to go in on this. Cougar takes a lot of damage, pops that ult, goes back in, pushes Lyra. Lyra manages to get out, though, on the Lantern. Box dropped as Africa tries to disengage from this fight. Nice dodge on the hook from Hippo. Meanwhile, flash hook onto Crush. Crush taking a lot of damage. Africa doesn't quite secure the kill. Mickey coming from behind, though. He's going to jump back over to the mid lane as they take down the turret. And Edge gets a little bit too close. Easy kill for Lyra. And now the Afrika Freaks have all the pressure they need in this mid lane. But the two turrets are enough reward, and the single kill pads the stats Whoa. for Afrika. Action time. Guger tries to prevent the dragon from Africa, ends up giving his life instead. <laughs> he's got a sneaking suspicion, and now he's aware. Let's see if he can steal it. Baron getting low. Teleport coming in for Monster. And I don't think they're going to steal this Baron away, but maybe they can win the fight. They're going for it. Lyra on his own in the pit here. Box dropped to zone the rest of Monster out of it. Soul doing some damage. That explosive cask, though, not really making any difference. And it's a ring around the Baron pit as the Afrika Freaks get chased. Monster trying to cut them off. Coming back through over the wall. Threatened by Edge. With turrets down, this is actually a fairly safe retreat path for Afrika. I know, yeah. Interesting. Guger could come over the wall. Not going to do it, though. Lyra sitting around taking some damage. Wow, they're going to go in. Flash ult onto Lyra. Lyra repelling away. Snowflower got that hook, but they're going to lose their jungler. Edge very low, too. Somehow stays alive. Afrika Freaks already down one member, and now they're mad. They're going to re-engage, and we'll see what they can get. Easy Valk didn't even need to do it. It would have missed anyway. And now Guger caught on the side of the fight. He has to flash into the red buff pit. And he is separated from his team. And like a cow separated from the herd, we know what happens in this wildlife film, don't we? Guga is definitely the weakest cow. We'll die eventually. The weakest cow. You are the weakest cow. You are Goodbye. the weakest cow. Goodbye. <laughs> I have a different version of that show about cows. I'd watch that version very readily. Would you? Over the weakest link, yes. Probably not. I think he's an SK Telecom fan. If Rika takes their second dragon of the game. Gragas teleporting. That's right, trying to come from behind. There is Ixu. Will False they time. get the flank there? That's right, teleport coming in for Monster as well. Ixu comes in. Mickey all over Crush already gets ulted, gets out though. There's the ult from Ixu. Nice knockback with the barrel Gugger goes down and Afrika Freaks looking like they're going to clean up this one. Box just keeps Kongdu from escaping the fight like they want to. Kills come down onto Mickey and Snowflower, but in the end, it's a double kill for Ixu. The rest of Kongdu Monster on the run, and it's time to crack this base wide open. And that's the thing. Once Zed dives in, everyone kind of peels away, tries to help the person being older. In this case, it was Graves. No threat whatsoever on Sangyu. He takes his first few specs of damage now, just tanking up this inhibitor tower because it was completely unhit in the fight. Well, three hitting us, three and a half AD damage items, Sangyun on the Lucian. Easy times. Yep. Everybody's going to get the Baron buff too. Here comes Hippo. They need to make something happen. Teleport comes in. There's the engage from Guger. Culling used almost immediately. Lyra getting into the back lines. Needs to be careful though. He's a bit fragile. Doesn't matter. They kill the support. They take out Hippo as well. 
and that's going to be another easy team fight win. Crush and Soul already on the run. They keep going for it. There's the ult onto that Goodbye. Corky, and yep, he's not making it out of there. There's an ace, a perfect ace coming in for the Afrika Freaks, and now you think they can probably finish this one up. Yeah, it just wasn't the time to contest for Kongu. They had no Guess damage, so. they had no smite. There was no way for them to really get anything, and they end up just being caught away from each other. Steamroll down, and Afrika, after a poor performance in game one, with some questionable drafting, it must be said, pick it up two wins in a row, and the result really in the end is what we would have expected from this series. That's right. Uh, I was thinking more along the lines of a 2-0, but a 2-1 will work for the Afrika Freaks. Looks like they want some more kills. <laughs> They're going to kill the Nexus eventually. Guga comes back just in time to uh, hang out. They really want these kills. Okay. They're going to just get another one, pad the stats, re-acing it. There we go. There goes the Nexus. 2-1 victory for the Afrika Freaks. And that one's in the books.